initial blow of any cancer diagnosis is a bit of a feeling of shock and awe, oncologist Dr. Doug Flora told me. We talked with him at a national cancer conference in San Diego. He, too, had just heard the news. You know, we think abdominal surgery is in a young woman. It's likely going to be either a colon or an ovary. And um, both do very, very well with chemotherapy applied after surgery. This type of chemotherapy, often referred to as preventive chemotherapy, it can be given as an infusion or, if available, in a pill form. So if there's no cancer there, where does preventive chemo go? Now we think of it as sweeping up the dust. We hope the surgeon's cured a cancer. We expect that the cancer has been cured, but if there's a likelihood or a risk of recurrence, we know we can mitigate that risk somewhat by giving chemotherapies in that post-resection, post-surgery setting. Dr. Flora knows this can be a reassuring step. He, too, is a cancer survivor. Kidney cancer about seven years ago. And how are you? I'm doing great. As the medical director of oncology services at Kentucky St. Elizabeth Cancer Center and the editor-in-chief of AI and Precision Oncology, Dr. Flora says the future focus needs to be on detecting women who may have cancer risks before standard age screening is recommended. Princess Kate, just 42. Preventive chemotherapy likely to give her an outcome, however, prayerfully fit for a princess. And I give those drugs to people all the time now after they've had uh, breast cancer removed from their breast or a colon cancer or other types of cancers. It's very, very common for cancer doctors to try and give treatments in this setting uh, to make the statistical likelihood of survival better. With your health news, I'm Liz Bonus reporting. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.